So, ah, oh, this is the fabric I wanted. Wow, so this is a spring maxi dress in floral. Good morning. You have no idea how long it's taken me to just do this setup. I mean, it, the setup is me sitting on my sofa, which you've seen me doing a million times. But first of all, Myrtle, who is here, playing a very small role in this week's uh, vlog at this stage, and it's Monday, so hopefully it'll be a small role. Um, I set up the camera and um, I've got the camera on, a, on a, a stool on top of a chair basically, went in to the bathroom to literally brush my teeth and I heard an almighty crash and Myrtle had sort of knocked my whole setup over. So um, we don't bear any crutches, do we? Um, she says hello. We've been for a nice long walk. Uh, anyway, listen. Um, today's, this week's vlog, sorry, this week's vlog, at this stage, which is Monday, I think it's going to be very interesting because I'm going to meet various friends. I'm going around London and uh, I think it should be quite interesting. I, I never really know. I just film day each day of my week, basically, and see how it all joins together. And I send the whole lot to my editor, Philippe. Um, but... We're going to kick off the vlog. I am wearing the foundation that I promoted last week and 99.9% .9 of you just said, Joe, spend what you like all the time you're earning the money. It's whatever you prioritise um, and go for it. And then a small proportion said, have you lost your tiny mind? So, yeah, there we are. Anyway, this is the foundation. And one of you said, Joe, just wear it every day. I am wearing it every day at the moment because it makes me happy. So, um, what I thought I'd do is show you what I have ordered for spring from Hobbs. So, do you remember I did a Hobbs haul at your suggestion? You suggest, you said to me, you know, you're always spending money high end. Can you do something on um, a more affordable high street uh, label. And this is high-end high street hops. Um, and so I did their autumn collection. And now I'm going to just show you some of the items that I thought I'd look at for spring. And they are mainly dresses. I love a dress and you know I do. I wear them in the winter, I wear them in the summer. Because I'm so short, a, a long dress, a maxi dress or a midi dress with a pair of boots elongates my body. It makes me look taller if I get it right. And you know that I got some Stella McCartney grey boots this winter, which um, are ankle boots and I love them. And so I thought I'm going to buy some spring dresses or look at some spring dresses. I don't know if I am going to buy these yet. I'll wait and see. Um, that are affordable for me. And, um, and are also going to see me through the end of the winter into the spring with a nice pair of boots. And I love my big long cardigan that I wear. So I am opening this with you. I've not looked at any of these. I will unwrap, it's all right, Myrtle. I will unwrap each one and then I will style it. When I say style it, I will basically put it on. Now, I have to be careful how I open these because if you send anything back, you really do need to keep the box. So I mustn't just cut through the box, but I may not send anything back. I may, oh gosh, my, gosh I was going to call them Matilda. Myrtle is um, playing with the packaging. She absolutely, here, here you are, you can play with that whilst I'm here. Um, she absolutely loves packaging. Right, let's crack on. So, ah, this is the fabric I wanted. Wow, so this is a spring maxi dress in floral, which I think I am going to love. So look at this, everybody. And it is lined. 
and it has a beautifully flattering neckline for somebody of my age. It's a chiffon, sleeves have covered buttons, and it is lined all the way through, or is it just the... Yes, it is lined all the way through. So that, I think, is going to look beautiful. So that's... That's the back, sorry. Oh no. Oh, so there is a little keyhole at the front. Okay. So there's a little keyhole at the front there. So yes, and it's quite empire line high-waisted. I don't have a waist. So I'm going to try this on. From what I can see, it is everything I wanted it to be. The next item, do I have Myrtle? Uh, I'm not sure, I can't actually remember what I've ordered. So this, ah, so this is my second spring maxi dress. Again, oh my gosh, I love it. So these are, sorry, I just love dresses. I love dresses so much. Again, in a chiffon which is lined, it has the keyhole, so it's almost the same as the first one. High-waisted and lined again. I will put the prices up and the links underneath. So that is the black. Again, we'll go with my grey boots or indeed my black boots. Ever since I saw uh, Meghan Markle in suits, I I've always wanted a pencil skirt, but I am a very strange shape. I'm so small and I have no waist, and I don't really have any backside, so I don't think probably my figure is going to suit a pencil skirt, but I thought I'd order one anyway, and I have a feeling, I can see already, see this is going to be far too big for me, I think. Um, it's still stitched at the back. The pleat is still stitched. I love the colour. It's a beautiful teal. Again, it's lined. What I love about Hobbs is their attention to detail. I love the seams at the back and the seams. How flattering are those? The seams at the front. Um, and no waistband, which I like as well. So it may, maybe I can let that sit low on my waist, but I have a feeling it's going to be too big. I am so tiny and I think this is the smallest they do. What size is that? Um, yes, that is an eight. But I'll see how it is. I think I'll wear this with uh, my black boots. Ah, denim jackets. You can never, so with a maxi dress, I think they look so good with um, a denim jacket. But the denim jackets have to be the right denim and the right size. So this, it's sorry about the banging by the way, they're having the radiators fixed upstairs. So you'll hear a lot of the banging. Myrtle is still here, playing with the packaging. 
She's getting bigger, isn't she? So Myrtle, what have we got? This is, ah, now I like this because it is rather distressed denim and I love the back. I love the back. So it goes in at the waist, so you can wear it done up over a maxi dress on a chilly night or a chilly day. I really, really like this. I really like it. Uh, denim jacket with just the right seams again. It comes in at the waist, so if you wear it over a dress, these are made to wear over dresses, and I will try this on. It's just denim, it's all about the wash of a denim, isn't it? And this is distressed, I love it, and washed, pre-washed denim. So we'll try that on as well. To the box, Myrtle. I think this was a sweater because the Breton stripe. I have so many blue and white Breton stripe sweaters. I wear them in the summer with my white shorts, my white jeans, and I just thought, oh my gosh, look at this. So this, I remember now. So this is, um, this does up at the back. I love this. So this does up at the back. You can wear it, as I say, with white shorts, white jeans. It's a cardigan sweater and it's made, it feels like very thick lambs wool or very thin lambs wool or cotton. It's obviously a cotton mix, but it's warm enough. If you were going out in the summer, and it's a little bit breezy, or you want it on a summer's evening. I absolutely love that, and it does up down the back. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, so. God, my new washing machine is coming. I'm so excited. And Myrtle, Myrtle, I knew I was staying in for a reason. I'd forgotten why. <laughs> Are you taking away the old one? I'm not too sure, my love. Oh, I hope so. I, I don't know. So. What, well, how do we know? How do It'll we? Be on the paperwork. All oh, right. All oh, right. Okay. Yes, hi, right, hi, hi, hi. Are you taking away the old one? We are. Fantastic. We Look, Myrtle, we got a new washing machine. Um, so it's called Middle Age Minx. You must follow it. I will do. I'll yep. Follow Please do. Please subscribe. I need as many as possible. No so um, these wonderful guys. I knew I was staying in today, and I couldn't remember why. And it's because I'm having um, a new washing machine. Gosh, sorry. These are the blankets. Um, because I couldn't spin anything, I've had to dry everything. Literally hang stuff up because the washing machine broke. But it's now hopefully going to be replaced. And these wonderful guys have come, but all of these flats are tiny. So this 
has to fit into a tiny space. But as one got in, I suppose it means the next one can get in. Um, and I've had to lock Myrtle away because she gets very overexcited with visitors. Can I do anything to help? Oh, you're fine. We've got you under control. I'd be absolutely useless. <laughs> Oh dear, so we're a bit devastated because my present day machine is so old, they think 15 to 20 years old, and it has hot and cold mains water. Modern machines, hope you're finding this interesting, uh, modern machines only take cold water, is that right? Yeah, cold yeah. Um, They only have one feed, so we've got to get a plumber to turn off our hot water, otherwise it's just going to come gushing out the moment these guys try to put this machine in so I've asked them very kindly if they can take the new machine back which you know they've had to lug it up all these stairs well the lift and along the corridor but they're very kindly said they're going to take it back and I will have to be without a washing machine until we sort this out never mind don't forget to subscribe to my channel well done. Joe Good Middle Age Minx bye. Bye. bye bye oh they're so nice if you think they've just had to bring a washing machine up and bring it all the way back. Look, I've got washing everywhere hanging up. <laughs> hanging up to dry because I can't spin it. Never mind. Because I rent, um, my landlady's going to have to sort this out. But she's so lovely. Um, no, she really is lovely. She does things very quickly. So hopefully I'll have a washing machine in a couple of days. Yes. Here we are in Here St Martin's Lane. Yeah. This is George. I love Oops. this time of night yeah. in London. Well, it's not really, you know, for us, this is our morning. This That's is our morning. We, well, we so, are actually working we're as well. Small, Should we do the step thing? Should yes, I go down this is fantastic. When George so stands in the gutter, <laughs> yeah. we're almost. I'm wearing, by the way, George, could you yes. just film what I'm wearing? Yeah, oh, here we go. Right. Also, look at this theatre. We should do this but, on the yeah, show. Really right. I can't see. Can you so, see yourself now? Oh, turn it down, George. Okay. This is where I get knocked over by a bus. So, this is my deploy woolen, washed woolen coat, which I have had for many years. This was the first sustainable brand that I, I didn't even know what sustainable meant. Check them out, deploy. Um, and I, and I usually wear it as, as very, very smart. But Robert Elms' wife tried it on in my flat and she just flung it over jeans like this. And because it's a tail, I think it looks rather nice just like this. Anyway, why are we here? Why am I clutching my grubby little mask? Why are so we here? Me. So we're going, we are going. I'm going to get my bag. We'll take you over there actually, one sec. Sorry. Let me just go get my bag. Yeah, her bag was left on the side. So we are going over to uh, La Boheme for a recording at the Coliseum because that is in London. Is it on in London till February, I think? We're at doing the end opera. of February. We are doing opera. We're doing opera and Jo is going to do a little piece on stage, but she's just preparing the words. <laughs> <laughs> I, seriously, I've never interviewed opera singers. Yeah. I, oh, well, maybe we've got I the conductor, the, uh, the oh, director, wow. and a singer. You so, can't yeah. see me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yes. So that's yeah. what we're going to do, and then we are going to go in and do our show. Yes. So if you're watching from the BBC, this is all unpaid work we're doing in our own time. We're doing this in the afternoon. We actually yeah, start in the evening. We should be sleeping. We should be sleeping, but we will play this out on. Actually, this will be done by, by the time. Sunday yeah. this goes out. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. So listen back. Listen, listen back. back on uh, BBC Sounds. Um, here I am and they're just doing the final adjustments for La Boheme on stage. But look at this, just look. I love my job. When I get to do things like this, I love my job. Hi, 
identify your name and the role you're playing. Hello, my name is Benson Wilson and I'm playing the role of Shonad. And I just want you to have a look at his family tattoo. This is, I'm going to talk about this later on air, this is amazing tattoo that involves the whole of his family and I'll explain how that happened later. But oh my gosh, it's such a good idea. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. What is that, George? This is um, Clifford the Big Red Dog. Do you know? Do you know it? No. No, it's more. It's. Oh, it was Clifford. my childhood, actually. Clifford, I know nothing. We're in Leicester Square. The, the, the Odeon. The guitar. Is, oh, the Odeon. It's Mr. White. I feel like a tourist. This is so. This is tourist. I mean, usually we're on the red carpet. Yeah, over down there. here. Yeah. Um, but that went very well at the Coliseum. Um, that opera carpet. singer, Benson. Yeah. He's what did he say? Uh, Baritone Benson. If you Baritone want to Benson on Instagram. Yes. And he has the best voice ever. I mean, I'm probably baritone because I. But yeah, I, no, you've got I'm a good voice. Baritone. So you're in Harry Potter. <laughs> no, no, sorry. Yeah, you were in Les Misérables. That no, it wasn't all, all of them. <laughs> I, t I wish you'd told him you were in Les Mis. I, I, no, I only. I used to do all the auditions in the West End, Les Mis. I got shortlisted. Look how good my foundation looks in this light. Well, I mean, when you're paying. How much was it? 350. Yeah, exactly. You need a fa you need a face to wear that. Actually, it was 250. But I actually think it is glowing. I think you do, do look you glowing. I was going to say when you turned up that you look nice. That you had. Yeah, a good it's hair. my clay de pose. Well, I mean, you I look think. Good, but you're thank young. you. But I think you should buy it in bulk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now getting a 453 home. So but that the I reality, can, so yeah. That 300 pound foundation would be caked in people's germs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, totally. I'm going to feed Myrtle and then go back into work and see George so we can do the show. Where are we going? We are going for a quick coffee down the road at Chilton Firehouse um, with a new one in tow. It's her first time going. She loves. She would. She absolutely loves being held by George because she knows he's not going to drop her. I mean, she's quite heavy now, isn't she, George? She's sturdy. She's very sturdy. She but is she's, sturdy. Um, she's very cuddly as well and wriggly. So, um, the reason we're going to Chilton Fire House is um, it's very, very dog friendly and it has um, Carrie Fisher's dog bowl. I filmed it before. Carrie Fisher's dog bowl. Look at her legs hanging out. Look how cute that is. I know. Oh, Should I put say. You on the floor? Do you want Come to walk? Let's put you on the floor. Um, yes, I filmed Carrie Fisher's dog bowl. Oh, here oh, we go. Because she knows the parks this way. Yeah. Going to the park. Come on, Mert. Because the company's not that good. Oh. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh my gosh. It is very, very late. I'm in my bedroom with my pink Himalayan salt lamp on. Still brandishing a red lip. It is the end of the working week for me. It's uh, just gone half past one on what is Friday morning and I am going to finish the vlog here. You may hear in the background the gentle snoring of Myrtle. She's fast asleep in her crate. She gives me the best welcome ever when I get home and then I just give her a small snack and then I put her back in her crate. Um, again, can I thank you for your support? All your comments about the extortionate amount of money I paid on a foundation last week. Thank you, all of you, who gave me such a lovely, a lovely thumbs up to that. Um, and I read all the comments, I answer as many as I can, and I love the way you all answer each other. Um, hopefully, gosh, I'm wearing a very hot, I love this, this is an Italian, oh anyway, sorry, I'm distracted, I've got to go to bed. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. So, uh, the links to dresses. I think the black one is my favourite because I could wear it at night. But if I was going to go to garden parties, weddings, 
outdoor barbecues the rose one the very first one probably what did i think of the skirt i know you'll all say it was too big for me there is actually that was an eight and there is a six the denim jacket i absolutely love um but anyway i'm going to go to bed i'm going to take this what's left of my makeup off go to bed and i will see you um next sunday unless you follow me on instagram Oh, do follow me on Instagram because there is a fantastic skin regime, skin product offer um, that is going to go up um, on Wednesday, I think it is. So yes, do follow me on Instagram. It's a really good offer um, and a brand new uh, product. But anyway, more about that if you follow me on Instagram. I've said it so many times. Goodbye. Good night. Thank you from me and Myrtle and Mutti and George and Anna and everybody. Goodbye, goodbye. I think I'm delirious. I'm walking, here's the knee and I'm talking.